I, I don't know whether I should, uh, what, do I believe him or don't I? I don't know whether I should, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've been here, in here a long time. And what if he rushes the door and they drag me out of here and I'm out of a job? And the minute that I get off the air, if I'm not behind this microphone, I have no public forum. Now, where do I go from there? I know the unemployment line. I don't want to go there. That's the purpose of all this. I don't know if I should take a shot and let him in or not. He gave me his word. But can he be trusted? I don't know. Life at the X, folks. I don't know what to do. I hope this thing works. Should I let him in or not? I don't know. I got no choice, I guess. Let me take a look. This is the heart of town Where the music's getting better This is the city sound Sounding just like a style setter This is where it all begins And we're never looking back This is where it never ends Where I've been leading the WXTU Philadelphia. We are 92X. I'm Steve Ross, and I think maybe I might have gotten him. <laughs> Dennis Doherty is probably on his way in to find out if I'm still employed. Th thank you all for calling up and, and telling me whether I should trust him or not. I don't know whether I, I can, but the minute I get off the mic, you know, I'll, uh, uh, I think I might take a shot with this guy at his word. I don't know, but we'll keep you posted, all right? Another moment, you are the man. Bitch, so come a little closer, baby. This is it. Love the feeling when you play This is it for me. If it all turns out okay, I'll keep you posted. Yes. Talk about your dirty pool, folks. I mean, talk about, you know, you be, you know, I've done everything totally above board here. I mean, I've been calling on the air so you can hear my conversations. Did you hear, did you or did you not? Maybe it's the fact that I've been on the air too long and I'm suffering from air fatigue, but did you or did you not hear Dennis Doherty say he was going to be coming in here to negotiate? You know, he said that about a half an hour ago and there's no hide nor hair of him. It's eight minutes after three o'clock, and I expected to hear from him by now, and I hear nothing. So you people that are calling up on the phones and saying, hey, don't let him in, no way, shape, or form, don't let him in, are probably right. But see, I'm prepared to stay here, because to me, this is day one. Here's a man who gives me his word he wants to come in and negotiate about giving me my job back, and now suddenly he's Lamont Cranston. You know, I mean, where is he? That's true. Where's his head at? Yeah, I mean, where's he coming from, this guy? What did he eat for lunch? He, he, he tells me he's, he's, he wants to come in and negotiate, and now he's invisible. I mean, this is ridiculous. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hang on. And this is crazy. This is ridiculous. This is worse than ridiculous. Hello? Hello? Find out what the deal is here. This is WXTU Philadelphia, 92X. Good afternoon, WXTU. Yeah, Dennis Doherty, please. Hold on, please. Believe this. Can't believe this. This is unbelievable. Yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. Yeah, Dennis? Yes, Steve. Yeah, I thought you were com coming in to talk, or what? I'm trying to make some money here. 
You're trying to make some money. I'm, I haven't run a commercial for five hours. You're not no, making money. i got to worry money. about tomorrow. No, Steve, I'll, I swear, I'll be in in the moment. Let me get rid of these people. You don't know what headaches you caused me today. But, I mean, I mean, I want to talk about this, Dennis. I mean, let's let's Steve, get it resolved. Steve, I know. you got to go to the bathroom, right? Yeah, I, I do, but don't play on that. I mean, that's, that's, that's dirty pool. Uh, I'll be in very shortly, I promise. Thank you. I don't know. Does this man... You know, I think Dennis Doherty sleeps on a pretzel at night. I don't want to intimate he's crooked, but you know... This will be Natalie Cole at 92X WXTV. Hello, it's 13 minutes after 3 o'clock. I feel like I've been on the air since 1954. Hello. That was, Hi. I got just, just goes to show how old I am. <laughs> Listen, seriously. Yeah. What? All kidding aside. Yeah. Steve Brown here. Um, I do have to go to the bathroom real bad. What do you think you are, the Lone Ranger? Listen, listen. What do you think I've been sitting here with my legs crossed for the past five hours for? No, sir, all kidding, all kidding aside. All right. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go out and talk to him. Here's the thing. Okay. What? Let me out. Okay, you know I'm going to hold. You know I'm going to hold true. You can. You can yeah, on that. but see, my problem. Well, okay. my problem with is here's my problem. I know what you. My problem, problem is, he told me he's coming in a half an hour ago. Now I think the most important thing on this man's mind should be get me the hell off the air. Negotiation by way of black and white paper. Put it in writing, Steve. Let me go out and let me talk to Dennis. Okay. I okay. I got to trust somebody. I, hold on a second. Right. I, I got to. I'll, I'll call you and let you know what the story is here. If he's not going to hold face true on black and white in written form. First of all, you don't let him in. That's obvious. I can't let him in because if, he, oh. if I get dragged off the air, I have no forum to, to talk from. So. But I mean, if I, don't snooker me, I mean, go out there and give me a straight deal. Did I snooker you? Have okay. I okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Wait, wait a second. Wait. Hold on. No, get it. I want him. See, see, there's Doug. Get, uh, Doug's got to leave. Doug's got to leave. You got to get. You got to get him to go. Hey, Doug. Doug. I mean, nobody can be by the door. No Let's way. Clear the no way. Clear the area because. I want to talk to Dennis. There's no way. I but, but by the same token, we're talking negotiations here. Clear, clear the lobby way so I can come out. Steve is not going to open the door until you leave. Okay? No. No way. Bro, get him out of there. Steve. I want that clear. I don't want any. There's no way that anybody's rushing the door. No. Mike, tell, tell Doug and you to go out in the foyer. Steve is going to let me out. Is it clear? You no. Out? Yeah. But it's not clear, though. Doug's I'm going to let. Yeah. He's going to get out, but it. No, it's not clear right now. No, it's not. Tell Doug to skidoo. All right. 23 skidoo. When the area is clear, I come out, I'll talk to Dennis. All right. Okay, serious. I'm not going to leave till I hear music. No. I want to stick to the format. <laughs> stick to the format. Would you believe it? You believe this guy? He wants to stick to the, stick format. the format. We want the hit. Here, here's a, here's a hit. Hit this. All right, let's go. Okay. Where? Okay. Yep. Tell Doug to well, I, I, I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let Dennis in, but I, I figured I'd let him out and let him negotiate for me. I sure hope I get my job back, folks. I sent Steve Brown out to negotiate for me, and and he's on he's on the phone. Steve, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What what's the deal? I'm I'm real tired. Uh, I just <laughs> just left his office, and uh, the door's closed. I did get through as far as the secretary is concerned. Yeah. And this place is going nuts around here. He'd be surprised. Doug is pulling his hair out. Yeah. Well, I love it though, you know. Yeah. But okay, here's the real deal here. Yeah. Um, I did get a chance to talk to Dennis. He's and on the phone uh, with Down South. Um. 
he's talking to hierarchy and he's really I think he really sincerely and truly is ready to negotiate he is uh, I, I really do I'm serious well I'm glad because I'm ready to go to the bathroom uh, well I gave you I uh, gave you a bag yeah but that's only as a last resort I mean I, I I'm just to the point now where I I want to, I, I want to resolve this thing. I want to go back I, to where the way it was, and I want to do my six to ten shift, and I just want to get things the way they were. I think at this point, I think he, he's had enough. You think? Seriously, he's tired. He's very tired. Because um, I know I am. He's ready to negotiate. I'm really. The real deal is that I think Dennis Doherty is ready to come up face value. Really? I, I think. Can I tell you something? What? I don't know if he's listening or not. Who gives it anyway? If no, he's he, it out, he, let me tell you something. I think you might even get a raise out of this. A raise? Serious? Yeah, but see, that's the whole. Th that's the whole thing. I don't. I don't want to raise, Steve. All I want to do is I want things the way they were. I think he overreacted. He fired me for what? I mean, you know. So I made a few calls to Tokyo. I mean, it's not. Yeah, but to blow a guy out for something like that. I understand. You know. So that's where I'm coming from. Okay, I think he is ready to negotiate. I uh, tell you what, I can uh, just go back in and tell him to to uh, to call you. Would you please? Sure. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Because we're real concerned about it. I gotta gotta call the doc back because I think he's he's, he's ready. Is he ready to walk? Good. Okay. Thanks a lot. Steve. Okay, we love you. Take care. Bye bye. bye. X. Hello, I'm Steve Ross at 335. Am I going into my 10th hour on the air? Who's in my... Hello, who's there? Who is it? Who is it? Dennis. Dennis? Dennis Doherty? Oh, no. Here we go. Decision time, folks. De Dennis, do you, do you... um? Are you alone? Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. Look, look for yourself. Will you give me your assurance you're alone? Wait a minute. How do I know there's not some people lurking in the shed? Wait a minute. What's behind you? Can you step, just step that way? I hope I'm doing the right thing. Hurry up. Hurry up. <clears throat> okay, now hold, wait a minute. Okay. I mean, I have the, I have the uh, I have the key. Can we talk? I'm not I'm not doing a Joan Rivers impersonation, but can we talk really? What has happened? Uh, I mean, things are just have gotten completely out of control here. I agree. Okay. And the bottom line is, is I still want to work here. And 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 I, what I'm saying to you is, I think that you know that you and I know each other a little bit, and I think maybe. You know, you overreacted. Maybe I was a little overzealous in what I was 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 talking about here, and, and I think that uh, um, I think that a lot of people have backed me, and that's made me feel real good. And I, I think that ultimately we're here for the same cause. And I hate to see us. You know, I don't want to be saying you know Dennis Doherty's a creep and everything because you know because you're I don't, not. Want, I don't want to be saying Steve Ross is a creep and a no good non talent etc etc because I right. think you're a super guy. People have taken exception to that. They have. They said you know. And, but whatever the case may be, there's people now. See these lines? The, the lines are lit. They've been lit all day, and people are saying that I should have trusted you to commit. But I know that now that you're in and I've locked the door, I know that nothing can really happen. But what I'm saying is, is ultimately, maybe I owe you a little bit of an apology. And on my on my behalf, I'll say, well, maybe, maybe I screwed up a little bit. Okay. So uh, what I'm saying is, you know, I still want to work here. Can we work this thing out? Well, I think we can. There's a couple of conditions <laughs> that we can work this thing out. You yeah. have to promise me that, number one, you'll leave all programming decisions up to the program director, that Steve won't be... Uh, I mean, this has come down from the big boss. Okay. Okay. Uh, you Before you call uh, East Japip, that you're going to authorize it with the program director that is included in part of the ongoing programming. Okay. okay. Number two, you never, never will call me in my office and trick me into a conversation on the air. Okay? Agreed. No, okay, Agreed. number three. Yeah. That for your retribution, yeah. for to remain a, uh, a member of the staff here, that you and your loyal listeners will make uh, contributions to the cerebral palsy fight for the telephone this weekend. And uh, when we get the... These people really believe in you, let them put their money where their mouth is and 
donate some dollars to people that really need it to have you help keep your job and that's the only condition that I have you're on the uh, well you're on the air now get your listeners to support you right now and they are the only conditions I have no okay. let programming do its thing uh, you clear all things. No phone interviews with me ever again. And no call in Tokyo. No, well, I'll call Tokyo, but clear it with the uh, with the programming director. And no calls to Guam either. Right? Clear it with the programming director. Okay, all right. So, okay, now I I can't speak on behalf of the listeners because I'm going to be on that telethon thing on, on uh, Sunday from noon to one. But I can't talk for them. But it's a good cause if they want to pledge. What, what what do they have? To, where do they call with the pledges? Well, they have to call the two request lines here at the station, two six three. Six seven hundred, right, and in five New nine zero forty three hundred, and because I had people willing to pay for the Tokyo calls, mm -hmm. they were willing to pay for that. So yeah, I guess any amount, any uh -huh. amount to show a little support for you and for this good cause, uh -huh. and we can diffuse the whole situation. I don't lose Dr. Perry Johnson. Uh -huh. I don't lose Steve Brown. Uh -huh. Basically, we have a team operation here at the station, and we want to continue it that way uh -huh. and uh, keep pumping out the great music and the good sounds, and, and we can strike a deal. You mean I, can I, we shake? Can I have my job? Can we shake? Are get, you, get the contributions first. And we'll wait, wait, okay, wait, okay, wait. I'll have the people call, but are you are you going to like, are you going to like, what? what and I still feel like Miss America. This is great. <laughs> 344, this is Steve Ross at 92X. I got my job back. Everything has been taken care of. I would like to thank John Marini of the U2 Club in Pensacola, who pledged $100 to cerebral palsy. So why don't you do the same? 263-6700, New Jersey 590-4300. It's part of my agreement. So please pledge now, and I'll take them down on Sunday. Okay, thanks a lot.